Okay, here we have another one of my favorite lightweight cameras, uh, Anva Ikeda 5x7, coming in at under 4 pounds. And uh, it's just a very compact and usable lightweight 5x7, and you always take it with you. It has most movements. Uh, let's see here, we've got the... Uh, Definitely have uh, swing here, and we've got rise and fall, and tilt on the front, and tilt on the back as well, and also here we have uh, a little bit of swing in the back too. It, it slides along this uh, clever little rail here. and. Everything about this uh, camera is just really unique. Not too many are made like this, and I don't believe this has been made for years now. Even though somebody, um, I think in Japan, is still making uh, a similar camera, a Nagawaka or something like that. And so if you want to contact them, you need to have somebody who speaks Japanese, and they will make one for you, I think, uh, a few years ago. I was thinking about it and never went about it because I already had this one. So um, what we have here is a camera with a short bellows. So you're looking at uh, 300 and less uh, as far as I remember in terms of um, usability on your lenses. And um, uh, it's a very, very nice camera. The only, the only flaw that I find with this camera is, uh, and I haven't done it yet, is these tiny little knobs are not, they don't have uh, lock washers on them. So uh, to prevent them from from coming off the screw. So what happens is occasionally they're so kind of well machined that they just, you'll, you'll open them up and they'll spin right off the uh, screw. And if you're in the forest, you'll have to search around the grass for them or whatever because uh, it's easy to lose them. I haven't lost mine yet and I'm happy because they fit right in there and Everything is in a very nice compact uh, pack, package with this camera. So um, if you're looking, if you can find one of these, great. I got this one probably 15 years ago, and it is just uh, really a little gem of a camera. Let's spin that around so you can see. Just a really beautiful camera in, in all respects. If you need super moves and architecture stuff, this isn't for you, but if you're field photographer and you want to uh, just have uh, a really great tool that hardly weighs anything once you add your film holders in there like tripod you know you're in business 100 percent with this camera it's really just a great thing okay and uh, also you know i've done exposures three four five minute exposures low lights and no problem it's rock solid and uh, it really it doesn't move and there's no wobble or shake anywhere once you once you've got it locked down it is locked down okay so that's it for this video um, I love this camera and uh, this one is just a permanent part of my large format camera uh, family okay People, take care, and I hope you enjoyed this vid. And if you like these vids and want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, little green Buddha guy on your right-hand side of your screen, lower right, I do believe. And hit that to subscribe. It helps out the channel. And uh, we've got a lot more vids coming your way. Okay, take care, people.